All right, I'm gonna be right back. So this is supposed to be a bunch of stuff, not just the one thing. So let's get the new setup going over here. I'm excited for this. Give me one second. Okay, it's connected. I'm gonna have it sit to hide. There we go. It's gonna be a bit awkward to cut. I thought I had it spaced out perfectly, but I guess, oh, here we go. That should fade, should it? Nope. There. So that's kind of like a face cam thing, and this is like a zoom in thing. Unfortunately, I have to record in order to make it work. Otherwise, it just turns off after a while. So, this is cool. We got cool camera angles now. So, let me find a good angle here. I should probably cut that just now. I need something to prop this up on. Look here. Here's fine. So, we got a bunch of stuff happening on the channel. Um, you can see both of me from both cameras. It's kind of hard. We got a lot of cool stuff happening on the channel right now. Um... We got a new playlist, the build playlist, and it's going to be like an ongoing series. I've ordered so many kits and, well not so many, kits and like other attachment parts and stuff. So don't know how long it's going to take to all arrive because I haven't ordered everything yet. I'm looking up reviews and doing my due diligence. But um, yeah, things are coming in. We're going to have building videos on the channel. It's going to be cool. We're going to have reasons to use these sick new camera angles and stuff. So, without further ado, let's open the first wave of stuff I got. This is an exciting one, because it's mostly equipment. I should have brought that knife I had in the other room, but I don't want to take any more time. Because this will be slightly edited down. Alright! Got all this sick plastic stuff, so... Angles are a little bit tough. Here we go. Aw, oh, sick. Proper boxing and everything. So, we have attachment pieces. Oh, no plastic in on that. I got three packs of action base, and as you just saw right here, we got the rack. I'm gonna build this. I got three clear action bases for the models we're gonna be making, as well as a new kit from a build series and luckily they're actually not plastic because I kind of want to inspect these a little bit I got this one <sighs> hmm. it's better if I just hold it I got these cool suits this one's upside down Sideways? Sideways, yes. No, it's sideways inverted. How do I uninvert that? Shouldn't take longer than a second to uninvert. Uh, flip, window, transform. It's locked in, so I gotta unlock it first. Go back, transform, uh, flip horizontal. That there? I don't think it. Oh, wrong camera. Looking at the wrong camera. Hmm. Here we go. Transform, flip, horizontal. There we go. Instead of moving the camera, I should just move the stuff. So we got two sick kits coming in for our first wave. We've got the new, well, not new, new, but you know, new to me. 
You have the Earth 3 Gundam from Build Divers, the second season. Which I recently started watching the show. It's pretty good. The Build Divers shows I've seen before, they're all great. It's just like, you know, about people building Gundam kits, customizing their own shit. It's good for fans who aren't just fans of the series, but like, you know, building stuff too. And then I got this kit, like I mentioned before, from uh, Full Metal Panic. The Invisible Victory. This one's cool, it has like hair pieces and stuff. And then equipment wise, we have a rack. Because uh, I noticed building these kits elevations, elevation is kind of an issue. Even right now, it's kind of an issue. So, using this for other stuff as well as for propping cameras on it is cool. So, what I'm hoping to do with the new playlist and the new segments on the channel is to kind of, you know, just have fun, shoot the shit, listen to music, and talk about things like, you know, other anime, other mecha stuff. And so yeah, let's just go through a brief look inside these because they're not plastic plastic sealed. I was kind of hoping they weren't so we could actually look inside the boxes themselves properly. See the runners and stuff. So let's look at the actual kit from the side stuff. The side information on the products is always cool to read. So, da 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 da. We have Lavianier Mark IV. From Full Metal Panic, Invisible Victory, which is kind of like the third season of the show, if you ever watched it. Hmm. Should I try inverting it again? Because I had it perfectly spaced out to not show that stuff. Oh, you know, I can just drag it forward like this. There's some black, but you know, I can fix it again later. And... So yeah. Lavianier. Comes with a hyper precision can cannon. Who's foldable, other stuff. Cool milling poses. He's got hair effect parts. Other stuff. Not really much going on the sides here of the box. Some standing poses and other stuff. Here's the original like the Mark 1. I'm oh, sorry. Here's an image here of the Mark 1. Two, three, four. And so we were taking a look inside of the sort of what comes with how you make it. <laughs> Just dropping all the parts. Everything here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten runners. We have some cool stickers. That's a sick manual cover. Let's just take a quick look at that. So anyways, what I'm hoping is, is that this, this series is entertaining and intriguing enough that you guys want to, you know, hop in, chill out, talk a bit. Uh, vote on the channel, like, uh, what kits you want to see me build first. If you want to see the full list of things that are going to be coming in. Because this is, of course, only the first wave. Don't know how many waves they're going to be based on product availability, ordering, and delivery, and whatnot. Especially given the recent news about, uh, things that are going on in the world. And so yeah, that's the first, technically the first kit. Not really closing properly because I messed up the packaging. And then we have the Earth 3 Gundam from Build Divers Rise, which as I mentioned earlier, I started watching Rise a few days ago. Haven't gotten to the second, second season of the series, but from what I've seen, this is a very cool concept. It's like a mini Gundam, so you see here, and then it's got the jet booster pack, and it combines to create this full form, and it's like modular armor system, so there are other series, there are other like models in the series, so this is Earth, there's like a Mars and a Jupiter version, and there's also like side piece parts that like aren't from kits, and you can also buy them separately too, instead, so like, what you could do is buy this, and then just buy, ar just buy armor equipping pieces from the other sets. 
It's very interesting. So I can't wait to like get to the part in the show or the season where that happens. Yeah, cool stuff. Look, see there it is. There's a image of the side. This is a different kit being combined, and it's not just like front and back. It's like split down the middle. It's interesting to see that. Another thing here. Here's the kit standard front, back, and rear. Here's some information about the show, like they always do. And yeah, let's take a look at what's inside the box. A bit more standard than the uh, Levy and It's always nice to see HGs that aren't Gundam, built by Bandai, but you know, the Gundam is the staple stuff, so. We have standard runner here with the standard colors. So I'm guessing this is mostly armor and internal stuff. Some stickers, so that's one. One large runner piece. We have beam effect parts. One, two, three runners. That's four so far. And then all the white pieces that the armor shell in. So one, two, three, one, two, four. So five runners. Doesn't really matter to if I get the count right or not. Uh, information about the show also, as well as the manual to build it. So based on what you see here, I'd love to hear like uh, what kits you want to see me build first. Again, like if you want to know what the full list is of what's coming in, maybe you want to see me build them in like a certain order or something. You know, and you can feel free to vote about that in the comment sections of this video or on the Discord or talk to me about it live whenever I stream. I want to do like kind of one kit a month. I don't know if that's going to be possible based again on availability and whatnot. And it's not just going to be like standard HG Gundam kits. I have so many interesting things coming in. I've got like, I was looking at an SD Gundam earlier today. Um, Gundam, like kits from different series. They're not all going to be HG, but it's mostly HG because that is uh, my background, mostly what I'm comfortable with. Uh, I got the three clear stands, so we will be able to do cool posing with all of the new stuff we have coming in, as well as the older kits. Um, this is cool too, like I mentioned there's modular armor pieces, so this is of course the new Gundam, but like combinable, equipable stuff, so I'm not sure if it's compatible with the Earth one, because I did read it and it said it's compatible with Atlas, but that's aside from the point, because it's just cool to have, and of course you can stand it like armor. But hopefully it is compatible so we can do cool combo stuff with it without having to buy so many kits. And then this third one, lots of plastic here. As a side note, I went out the other day and just for fun, I decided to, because I realized that I didn't have anything similar to this on my list. Because the list is, uh, it's for me. It's like my collection. It's like niches that I want to fulfill with a collection of models. And one of the niches I didn't fulfill was a golden. <laughs> suit which is yeah it's a small niche so I, I'm settling with this I'm pretty sure there's no building of it it just comes right out of the box so it's a nice little Hayakushiki from Gundam Zeta with some extra armor equipment comes with a tiny little base plastic and stuff that's cool ooh and it's colored nicely and everything have a little base model the equipped Gatling and this that's cool as well as I went out and I got a PS5 controller just to see what it's like. And it does work on the PS4, but only through remote play, which is kind of awkward to bring up my laptop just to play PS4, but it does work very well. There's some level of, of haptic feedback. I'm not sure if it's full, but I can definitely feel the difference in certain guns and even using a bow. I don't know if it's like actual haptic feedback though, because it's kind of like not exactly to how people mentioned it. But it is interesting, it's cool. So if you were like, wanted to upgrade your controller, because I had almost forgotten, but coming back to Warframe after that new content update, I'm like, yeah, my controller stick is broken, my character constantly walks off to the side, so for me it made sense to get a new controller. And this thing, oh man, I'm so excited about this thing. Oh, cool. It's actually a bit smaller than I thought it would be. It's 24 by 24-ish. Comes with a nice manual here, cool. And so yeah, I was gonna use this to not just store a kit, to like maybe store kits when we're done building them sometimes on the inside. Look at that. Just bursts open. Huh. That's what these 
weird angles. Oh, it's because the camera's not one to one. My phone camera's not one to one. I have a latch here. Okay, let's look at the manual. We're almost done, by the way. Um, really hoping to get some level of feedback on the things that we do with the new build series. It's not like the sole purpose of it, but it'd be cool to like you know conversate with people. Oh, okay, here's a safety latch. see what does it have step one now just words and stuff here's what the blueprint blueprint design kit is what that looks like if you want to see it's a little bit hard to read with the all black and white stuff so it's kind of like showing me how to do it backwards which is fine so there's a safety latch doesn't mention if it's front and back safety latching. Do I have it upside down? I have it upside down. Okay. Is it upside down? No, it was actually fine. Okay. It's weird that they would give me the manual how to do it backwards. So I didn't mention actually what this was, that it's so cool. It's a holder for the runners. So that while we're building, I just kind of take them out of the middle and also have the frame on top. So that you can see it all nicely because, you know, aiming the camera down is a little bit difficult. There you go. That's a bit tougher than you think. That's latch one. And then latch two in the front. Nice. Latch one, latch two. Then I believe there's stuff at the bottom that needs to be unlatched, yes. Cool, so it's just like a series of latches. Oh, wow. Okay. And then relatching it at the bottom. That's that's actually very smart. So the latches hold it together in both forms. So, I kind of need to hug it in order to get those latches on perfectly. And mind your fingers. Nice. This is pretty cool. And then there's another latch that's on the internal. I'm trying to figure out how to pull it because it's a little bit loose here. Is it latched? Okay, the latch is latched. So it looks like I pull it. No, go. It just comes out, just kicks out, and then locks in at the top here, and there you go. Do I have it inside out? I believe it's inside out. Let's see. Do 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 do. No, no, they're on the inside. Very cool, okay. So you sort of assemble it like one at a time. So like, Awesome, look at that. So based on how many runners we have, we can use as many racks as we need. Cool, so let's do a little preview of that. And then we can build more all the way up. But you get the idea. This is very cool. You can kind of stand some stuff on top of it, like maybe pieces while we're building it live. Very awesome. Doo -doo -doo. Yep, cool.
so I'm going to edit this video down, hopefully release it the same day, and hopefully hear some feedback on which of the two kits you want me to build first. Um, I'll give you from, let's see what today, what day today is, where's my phone at? Where's my phone at? My phone is the thing recording the video. So I can't do that. I'll just look at the computer. Over here. Let me know how you feel about camera placement too. It's a bit rough to start with. You know, this is very sporadic. Like I just got these things in today. So today's the 20th. So I'll give you until the next 20th. So for reference, it is 2021. A GLI. 20th, so you have until August 20th. So let me know, and if you don't decide anything, then I'll just have to do all the work like I always do. Oh, and we didn't look at this one either. This one, oh cool, and it's got a lot of few runner pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six runners, and the manual and stuff. That's cool. Very cool. There's the frame that it's supposed to be to be attached to, because it's kind of like a villain main character thing where they have the core system, and then the armor attaches to the core, and then they also have alternate cores, but for the most part it's the main same core. When you get different kits you get different cores and different armors. It's all very cool, very awesome stuff here. Yeah. And everything. So yeah, let me know what you want to see me build first. Um, these things here, like the armor, the special equipment stuff, I have like a couple of these coming in, but I'm probably, but these aren't separate. Like these are like, if I build this, okay, let's, for incentivizing a vote, let's say I build um, the Earth, the Earth 3 Gundam first, before I build the Le Levianir. If I build that one, then I'm also going to build this, and that could be like, I don't know, maybe a three hour long video or something. It's a bit hard to estimate, because it's mostly based on skill and whatnot. So if you want to vote, you'll be voting for these two. So again, if you want to vote, you'll be voting on... I should, I should do this the other way around. It's kind of the whole reason we got this. Not the whole reason, but it's one of the main reasons. So if you want to vote, and no, so if you want to know what you're voting for, you're voting for this is one build, one build video. And hopefully the pieces combine so we can build them and have them all work together. It'd be sick. So Earth three, fake new Gundam. I have the second of the weapons parts coming in later. They're not as available as the body. Or we can have Levianir, Mark IV from Full Metal Panic. So whichever one of those you want to see first, obviously go by name. I'm gonna make a poll on the YouTube. You can message me on the Discord. You can even just leave comments on the video. Just, yeah, go nuts with it, have fun. Because I know I will. Building this kits and so much, many more. If you want to see a full list on what I plan on ordering, I just finalized it today. I'm pretty sure it's finalized now. Don't know when they're gonna co all come in. And it's kind of weird if you want me to start with something and it doesn't come in, then there's nothing to do. Try to do these once a month. Hopefully I didn't repeat myself too many times. You get what's going on with the channel. As well as videos and stuff. like. If I'm doing this once a month, then I'm doing videos in between. So yeah, hopefully this serves as a nice little cool showing of like some new technology we're running with with the phone, camera, and everything. And uh, yeah, so without taking up any more of your time, I switched this out of studio mode because I'm so used to hitting the T button to transition or something. But yeah, Discord, Twitch, YouTube, pretty much as you see here, I need to switch the uh, Discord to the Poutine Dream Server. In case the link in the description doesn't work, let me know if it doesn't work. It has been for the last couple years, but who you ever know. Things disable and whatnot. So without taking out any more of your time, thanks for watching, and keep on dreaming. Dreaming of new videos for the Poutine... What's it called? Poutine Builders playlist, as well as other stuff on the channel. So until next time, please keep on dreaming. Poutine, out! Peace.